the usual silence at the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital in Yaba, Lagos. But all is not well here. Resident doctors have downed tools since July 31st. The doctors are complaining of shortage of manpower, which has resulted in the increase of workload on them. Several meetings between the striking doctors and the management of the hospital in the past ended in a stalemate. Presently, for doctors under the employ of the hospital on the ground, resident doctors, we have 33. And then we have four that are called supranumeraries, meaning they came in from other institutions and are seconded here. So that can make it 37. And then the consultants, well, they're more than that number. They're more than 20. But it is now in relation to the workload. Over the course of three plus weeks now, we've had some meetings, we've had some negotiations. It ended in stalemate. However, Kola and Kama heads have prevailed and um, negotiations have begun again. They've restarted, so to speak. So hopefully, within the nearest possible future, we should be having um, an end to the strike. For the Assistant Director of Administration and Public Relations Officer, the management of the hospital has been doing its best to resolve the issue. You see, the process of recruitment, it doesn't come just like that. It's, it takes stages. It takes stages. And you know, even there is embargo on employment. I think you are aware there is embargo on employment. So what we are actually looking for now is just to give us um, a waiver so that um, we can employ. Channel Television was not allowed access to get the reaction of patients on the effects of the strike. The management says there hasn't been any complaints. The patients have not complained to us anyway because you know, we, they, we run clinics, so they have, they have specific days they come, and they have number of patients that come on a particular day. So, so far, the consultants have been coping. If you have more in terms of quality and quantity, um, the resultant healthcare delivery will be better for the patients. So it's not just only about us, but also about the patients, so that there's reduced waiting time, there's better quality of care being um, giving to them. Also, it also helps the efficiency and effectiveness of the system. So it's hurtful that this has to occur, but ultimately it's for everyone to have um, the best outcome possible, yes. For now, consultants and nurses, as well as other secondary caregivers, have been attending to the patients while the strike continues. The sooner the doctor's grievance is resolved, the better for all.